TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. So I was coming home from work tonight, a little hungry. So I thought, I'm going to get me a Whataburger. Now, some of you, probably many of you, never eaten a Whataburger. They're kind of a Texas institution. So I thought, I'll get a Whataburger. And I'll pair it with whatever wine I got in the house. That's review wine. Every wine in the house is review wine, by the way. Unless it's wine that I've already reviewed. Then sometimes you just buy it again. So, I figured I'd check this out. Now, it's, it's probably a little cold because I've been doing some setup here. So it's not as hot as it should be, but that's okay. It's fast food. It's not like it's gourmet. So I got my fancy ketchup and my fries, and my cheeseburger, mustard and pickles only, that's how I like mine, and we're going to pair it with the Rave, uh, 2006 Rave Merlot from Paso Robles, now this is made by the aptly named Paso Robles Wine Company in San Miguel, California, problem is I can't find a website for them. You'd think if you had the name Paso Robles Wine Company, you'd have a website. I mean, you got the lockdown on the name. I don't know. Kind of like, you know, you thought of the great idea of naming something Elite Wine, you at least get a website, you know. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's, uh, let's check it out. $7.99 from Gabriel's. So let's check it out before we start uh, munching down. Uh, so obviously I just opened this up maybe 20 minutes ago. And I do like Merlot, so I, I, I enjoy a nice Merlot. So I'm getting some nice red fruits out of it. Um, a little artificial, a little candy type. I can get it, I get the hint of alcohol. I don't know how much the burger is interfering with, with this. Because I, I do kind of get like a an earthiness to it. So I don't think it's really coming from the beef part of it, but a little bit of earthiness. Um, so pretty pleasant. Get a little more out of that. It's not bad. Oh, there's something there to it, too. Like There's something to it that's I guess a chocolate um, almost mintiness to it. it reminds me of those little candies that I they're called perioles or whatever they're called. You know, they're, they're like little chocolate with the white little dot, you know, little sprinkle stuff on them. You can get them sometimes at the, at the um, movie theater. So I had a memory of that. I like it. Eight bucks from a winery that probably doesn't do much. 
Um, I think this might have been one of the few bottles that Gabriel's had, 2006 vintage. Pretty good. Give it an 87. Now let's uh, let's chow it into the. Uh, I'm starving. I think I put cheese on there. Right, I don't think I said with cheese. That's right. Matter of fact, I don't think they put pickles on there either. Matter of fact, they made it wrong. There's mustard and ketchup on there. No pickles. Let's see what my receipt says. Maybe they gave me the wrong one. Nope. I didn't say it with cheese, but I said mustard and pickles. They gave me mustard and ketchup. Oh, well. It's really not that, that big of a deal. It's not like I'm going to die from it. <clears throat> so the burger, you know, if you, if you uh, are from the Texas area, I think they got some uh, some other water burgers in the South Gulf Coast area. They're, they're just kind of seasoned a little differently than other burgers. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. Now I took another bite. See, the problem when I do this food stuff is I'm normally a slow eater. So now I'm trying to like eat really fast so you're not just like watching me eat. I'm going to try to take small bites too. Alright, so got a good amount of burger in my mouth. The spiciness gets enhanced with it. That's probably for the how the burger is seasoned. But you, you, the the red fruit's coming out a little more. Um, the spiciness is coming out a little more. Uh, so the burger seems to have enhanced the wine. Um, I don't think I scored it. Did I score this? I don't think I did. Um, let's go with the score of, of uh, 87. But... Um, uh, Somebody off camera just told me, I, I guess I guessed the score again. Um, but uh, it enhances it, and um, definitely you throw some food with it. So basically the idea is you want to have a burger, and you want to have some simple food. This wine will go pretty well with that. It's, you know, it's something complicated. Uh, let me see how this fries and ketchup go. All right, this is fancy ketchup. Got a little kick to it. So with the ketchup, you, you're, you're getting that, again, enhancement of like the tomatoes. And you're getting kind of that a little acidity to it and a little sweetness from the tomato. So definitely, you're going to have a burger. And even if it's a burger that you grill, you don't have to go like fast food. But you know what? If you want some burger and you want to put some wine with it, this wine in particular goes really well with it. All right. So getting near uh, the 10-minute mark. Um, so, Sommelier School School's probably up tonight, hopefully. Cross my fingers, because I'm going to record it right after this. Actually, as soon as I eat, finish eating this, we're going to record it. Um, so, we've got Sommelier School. Um, I've, uh, excuse me, I've decided that I'm going to be taking the, uh, oh, sorry, uh, the Society of Wine Educators um, test in June. Uh, so, what we do with that, I got their study guide coming, so I can make sure, I, you know, I'm studying up exactly what I should be doing. I mean, the Salmi A school should be exactly what I need, but I kind of like to get their study, you know, somebody's study guide because it's kind of like they're giving you the answers to the test. Uh, the test should be a pretty simple test, and uh, so I'm going to do that in June. Uh, the test itself is actually cheaper than the Salmi A school, uh, I'm sorry, Salmi A exam, which uh, I'm waiting for them to finish putting out their schedule because really they have nothing after May scheduled except for one uh, place in uh, South Carolina in Greenville um, but I'm really kind of hoping for Austin or Chicago just because Austin's cheap for me to get to uh, Chicago I can get there and I can actually make a vacation out of it I mean I can make a vacation out of all of them but I got friends in Chicago and I'd like to go up there and see them so um, that's going to do it uh, Hugs for Holly the other halftime show.org uh, check that out I'm 
probably going to be on the jam. I think I'm going to go. Eh, I'm probably going to go. Um, actually, earlier today, I thought I, mean, I am. but um, <clears throat> So I should be on that. Hopefully, I'll be on Ustream Live with those guys. Uh, probably, hopefully not butchering up too many songs on the keyboard. I'm pretty, pretty rusty on the piano right now. Um, and that's going to be it. We'll see everybody again next time. Friend me up too.